some opening comments about this contest? It really seemed like it tailored to that scenario. Yeah, uh, you know, we played against a team that, you know, truly, um, you know, they got out to a fast start. And uh, when you're playing against a, a good ball club, you know, of the nature of, you know, Michigan Tech, um, you know, as advertised, it's the same team that was up on Grand Valley with 40 seconds left in the game. Uh, we've stressed all week that, you know, this is really a pretty good, you know, Michigan Tech team. So um, when you give them uh, a start like that, it's, it's, it's just too large of, you know, a mountain uh, to come back from. Um, the boys obviously played well in the second half, played hard, shall I say. I don't know how well. Um, and they fought, you know, they fought to the end, and uh, we're proud of that. But, um, you know, at the same time, um, I felt like Michigan Tech uh, just truly uh, outplayed us. Uh, we, you know, I think on e absolutely every play that they scored on, we had a broken play, whether it was a breakdown in coverage or a missed tackle or something like that. Um, things that, you know, at uh, this stage of the game, you know, it's, uh, it's not excusable, you know. Uh, if you have assignments that, you know, you must uh, take care of, you got to take care of assignments, you know. And, and uh, that's why we work as hard as we do in practice to make sure that we don't have those type of breakdowns. Well, you know, <clears throat> we, we, we talked at halftime. You know, we've had, you know, um, many distractions this past week. And I always talk to our guys about playing above distractions and things like that. And, you know, I just kind of feel like, you know, with, with young people, they're so easily distracted. And, and, and I truly feel like, you know, in the first half, you saw a team that uh, was a distracted football team, you know, and for whatever reason. And, um, you know, we talked about it, and we got to halftime, and, you know, I asked a simple question. I said, when we watch film on Sunday, we're not going to watch the first half. Let's just watch the second half. So we'll watch the second half of the film. But to my point, you know, you, you just justified what I'm talking about, distractions and not being focused. You know, we just weren't a focused football team in the first half. And, um, and it's the first time that showed up this year, and it was disappointing that it did, you know. So... Um, we have to get back to the drawing board and, uh, you know, figure some things out and, and um, you know, get ready for next week. You had a change of pace and coming in at quarterback. Who did you see as having the advantage up against you? Know, well, you know, whenever you bring in some guys, some coaches, they'll bring in a backup for um, reasons of, you know, performing bad or whatever. I, I necessarily don't do that. Sometimes I'll just bring in a guy because if we're not executing maybe up front, and now my quarterback is seeing things that he pr pr probably shouldn't be seeing because he's getting uh, a good amount of heat. And even when Hayden came in, those things didn't stop. We continued to get – they continued to get heat on our quarterback, you know. So I wanted to get Hayden in the game, number one, to get, um, you know, DeAndre back so he can sit back and take a look and clear his head. And at the same time, you know, get Hayden in there because I've, al I've always said it that – you know, um, Hayden's been in games like that, you know. Uh, I didn't have the luxury, though, of putting someone else in. You know, Hayden would just stay in that fire and, and take some of that punishment. And, um, you know, to his credit, he came in. He did some good things for us. Um, and that's what we expected, you know. So he came in. He did a good job. There were some things that, you know, I, and I'm pretty sure he'll tell you that he wished he had a couple opportunities back. But, you know, it happens, you know, in the course of the game. And we talk about making plays, you know. So um, it was just one of those deals today. We didn't make enough of them. I felt like we weren't as focused as we should be, um, you know. And we'll get ready for the uh, next week. You know, Liam Kavanaugh had three out of 12 tackles. Talk about his performance. You know, Liam did a good job. You know, um, you know, we just want, um, you know, Liam and, um, you know, everyone else to, to make sure they're doing it all the time, okay? Liam's a very talented young man, and, um, you know, he's, he's young. He's one of the, the first guys that I was able to recruit here to DU. So seeing him show up, you know, in the stat box the way that he did, I'm proud of Liam, you know. But uh, Liam will tell you himself, you know, we got some growth to do um, because we got to get to the next level. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a huge challenge, you know. Um, you know, Grand Valley beat this team. Like I said, you know, Tech was up on them up until the last 40 seconds of the ball game, and um, it's it's a it's a, a tall order to go in and um, get our boys ready to go over there and compete, and especially on their homecoming. And uh, you know, it's a different venue that you play in, and uh, they play at a high level there. And uh, it's a stage that you know, while I was coaching you know, in Big Rapids, um, you know, you get excited about playing it, you know, so, uh, but before that happens, you know, we, we need to really do some soul searching and, 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 and find out, you know, um, you know, how mature do we need to be, you know, where do we need to go from here to take the next step? Because, you know, there's no one that overlooks, you know, the teams line up and they play us. They know we're capable of beating teams. And, 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 and we're getting teams, you know, best punch. And uh, I wouldn't have it any other way, you know. So um, we're going to take a good hard look in that locker room and make sure that, um, you know, everyone is, is, is um, you know, razor sharp and uh, try and get, you know, people uh, to do things, you know, right all the time. Thanks, Coach. All right.